know, gaming has become one of the most exciting areas of computing these days because, let's face it, it's turning into a real international sport. <laughs> it is a sport. It's it hard is to sport. believe that. Yeah. Why, why wasn't this around when I was 16? Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, you can actually have a full career just on the gaming side of things. Well, today we're going to take a look at the type of hardware you want to look at getting into if you're serious about gaming. The Republic of Gamers is an organization that basically works with manufacturers to put together these awesome kick butt computers. And there's some serious tech in here that's specific to gaming alone. So if you're going to look at this laptop from Asus, the ROG 752, you're going to be talking about a gaming machine. If you're a video editor but yeah. you love PCs, yeah. this would be perfect because Absolutely. it's got everything you would possibly need under the hood. Yeah. You got an i7 processor, which is the highest right yeah. now. You have two terabytes of internal storage. 256 SSD storage as well, Yes. which by the way, we always recommend if you do have SSD storage, that's where you want to install your operating system on because yeah. the boot up times will be just like this. Exactly. And so, yes, it is a gaming machine. It's got everything a gamer would want, backlit keyboard so that you can play at night while you're drinking your Red Bull and yeah, eating yeah. your potato chips. Yeah. And uh, you know, <laughs> practicing, I guess that's what they call them, practicing training. now? Yeah, training. <laughs> training for your, your competitive sporting yeah. event. But uh, again, you know, whether you're a gamer or you just want a high-end PC, something like the GL752 uh, is just going to be perfect. Well, okay, so let's talk about a few of the things, um, and you've already mentioned it right now. We've got a you know over 17-inch screen, so massive screen. Again, for for Andy, love to get in there and do some video editing. But for gamers, nice big immersive screen experience. It's got a 180-degree viewing angle as well, so you can really sort of like move from side to side on this thing and get into your gaming. You're going to have no problem seeing the screen. It's got Game Three uh, Game Three technology built into it. What is that? They've optimized the the network connection in, inside this device to give you the ultimate control over your LAN speed. So dedicated speed to the gaming so that you can frag faster than anybody else as well as uh, keeping constant updates available so that you can know you have the latest drivers available to pull down if you need them. And what we have on the screen right now is part of their game center which is really the ability to customize it depending on what kind of game you play. You can adjust the, the performance like how many cores of the processor you want to use. Uh, in terms of the battery performance. You can adjust everything and have different profiles depending on what kind of game you're in play. So lots of customization. One thing I was really surprised to see on this uh, laptop, it's got a Blu-ray Blu player. Yes. And you can actually, it's readable and writable. So you could write onto Blu-rays. Even has USB uh, Type-C, yep. the newest USB, which is what you want to look for if you're going to buy a new laptop. Yep. Plus it does have USB 3 as well. So yep. you got lots of ports. It's going to be able backwards compatible, but also for the future for all the new peripheries that we're going to see. State of the art. Comes with a price tag, you know, around the $1,500 range. That's what you're going to spend to get into a high-end gaming machine. Uh, honestly, very competitive if you're looking at like a Mac computer these yeah. days. But, but ultimately, PC gaming, it's uh, from Asus. It's called the GL752. And uh, get practicing because you could make a career out of gaming on one of these bad boys. I think I'm going to make a comeback. <laughs>